Drop. It went flying away towards slip. In the air he went. Got a hand on it. Phil Simmons is. He'd be very disappointed that he didn't take that one above his head and see the end of Mark War. He made very good height. Well, really only got one hand, or well, it might have been a bit harsh there. Ended up paddling it back over the top. Oh, and that one just passed the stumps. So a little inside edge there. Mark War having a few problems with the extra bounce here. Big appeal there. Yes, he's got the little inside edge. War doesn't look too happy about it. Just a little glance down the wicket. Perhaps uh, he was looking at the wicket. See if we can pick up a nick there, but uh, it doesn't really matter. It's probably the, the perfect length, that length we've been talking about. Mark War. well, if anything, look to get an outside edge on that. And umpire Cole, Cole Tillin, Timmons has ruled in favour of Ambrose. Mark War out for nine, caught Murray Bold Ambrose. Australia now three for 85. Shouts of catch it, and Richie Richardson, the captain, has done that. And once again, Kirtley Ambrose does the job for his skipper. Just when they need breakthroughs, he's the man who seems to come up with them. And that is just the one they wanted. David Boone was the man holding together this Australian innings. That was a good delivery. Boone had to play at it. It left him just a fraction, lifted. He played it straight enough. And uh, Richie Richardson had to come forward a little, a fraction sideways, and took the catch quite safely. Ambrose has done it again. And the Australians, four for 90. And a shout, he's got him first ball. So Ambrose is now on a hat-trick, having got rid of Boone and Border in successive deliveries. And if the ball to get Boone was a good one, that was an absolute beauty. It drew Border into the stroke and cut away from him, just feathered the outside edge, and was taken by Junior Murray. Now the Australians in complete disarray here, Five for 90 at the moment. Those wickets in a test series for the West Indies against Australia. Malcolm Marshall, 28 in 84-85. Kirtley Ambrose is just one behind that in the current series. And he's passed by one his performance in 88-89. Edged and straight to Brian Lara. So that's three on the trot now for Ian Healy as Australia lose their sixth wicket. And that was well bowled, but Healy was pushing out a long, long way there. Wasn't waiting for the ball to come to him. He's eager to get the bat on the ball. And now for Kirtley Ambrose, 28 to equal Malcolm Marshall, and he still has a few to go. That's hits in the air. Could be out Athens running with the ball. He should catch this. He does. Ambrose gets five. Big Merck trying to hit him down the ground. That was a fine catch. Great fast bowler has Australia on the rocks here at the Wacker. He's picked up five for one. This was a wicket that Australia could ill afford to lose. They've already lost most of their specialist batsmen. Merv Hughes really had a job to do to stick with Damian Martin. He's decided to go on the attack and he's only managed to sky one up. And Keith Arthur takes a very good catch. So Australia now really struggling here at the Wacker. Merv Hughes is on his way back with his mate. And Australia is 7 for 102. He's got another one. He's got 6 for 1. What a magnificent spell. The half ball he's there for a straight to second slip. This is one of the best efforts ever at the Wacker. Oh, this great fast bowler. We're seeing Kirtley Ambrose bowl the perfect Wacker length. Gets it up there to try and get the batsman driving. That's what he's done with Damien Martin on this occasion. Damien Martin half driving at the ball, a thick outside edge, carries almost chest height to Phil Simmons at first slip. A great spell of bowling, some very intelligent bowling by Kirtley Ambrose. Australia reeling, Damien Martin gone for 13, Australia 8 for 104. At 7 for 1, he's got another one, what a spell! Magnificent bowling, Australia 9 for 104, Angel out for duck. We talked earlier in the series about just how unlucky Kirtley Ambrose is and if he has a day on where he hits the edge all the time it'll be worth watching and that's what we've got here today at the Wacker. Joe Angel in his first test match driving 
once again the wicket falls with the bowling from the river end. Kirtley Ambrose takes his seventh wicket. And Australia now really in trouble here. Nine for 104 and Daddles has been overworked.